Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into something that sounds like it's straight out of a disaster movie, but is happening right now beneath our feet in Italy. We're talking about Campi Flegre, a massive supervolcano that's been getting a lot of attention lately. But we're not just talking about the ground shaking. We're looking at brand new science that E.S. giving us a completely fresh perspective on what A.S. happening deep underground. So what is Campi Flegre? Imagine a huge, sprawling volcanic area near Naples, Italy. It's not your typical cone-shaped volcano like Mount Vesuvius, which is famously nearby. Instead, it's a caldera, a massive cauldron-like depression in the ground, formed by a colossal eruption tens of thousands of years ago. The area is home to over half a million people, living literally on top of a sleeping giant. For the past 70 years or so, this giant has been anything but asleep. It's been restless, showing a phenomenon called Bradyseism. That's a fancy word for the slow, cyclical rising and falling of the ground. Think of it like the chest of a sleeping beast, slowly breathing in and out. Since 2005, the ground has been mostly rising, pushing upwards by over a meter in some places. That's more than three feet. This uplift has been causing thousands of small earthquakes worrying scientists and residents alike. Now you might think, okay, ground rising, volcano. Magma must be pushing up from below, right? That's been the leading theory for a long time. The idea was that fresh magma was either pooling under the caldera or that hot volcanic gases were seeping into underground reservoirs, inflating the ground like a balloon. It's a logical assumption, and it's what has guided most of the scientific thinking on Campi Flegre for decades. But here's where the story takes a fascinating turn. A brand new study using incredibly precise satellite data has just thrown a massive wrench in that classic explanation. Scientists from University College London in Italy, its National Research Institute for Geophysics and Volcanology, have been looking at the ground movement with unprecedented detail. They use GPS and satellite radar to measure not just how much the ground is rising, but how it's rising. The exact pattern of deformation across the entire caldera. When they analyzed this data, they found something that just didn't fit the old magma balloon model. The pattern of uplift wasn't smooth and uniform like you'd expect if something was pushing up from a single deep source. Instead, the data pointed to something much more complex and frankly a bit more concerning happening closer to the surface. What they discovered is that the ground isn't just being pushed up, it's being stretched and fractured. The stress from decades of uplift has weakened the Earth's crust in that area. It's like bending a plastic ruler back and forth. At first, it's flexible, but eventually, it starts to get weak and tiny cracks appear. That's what's happening to the crust at Campi Flegre. It's reaching its breaking point. The new model suggests that the recent swarms of earthquakes are not being directly caused by magma pushing its way up. Instead, they are the result of the crust itself cracking and slipping along pre-existing faults. Imagine the ground is being pulled apart, and these cracks, which were always there but inactive, are now slipping and grinding against each other, generating earthquakes. This is a huge deal. It changes our understanding of the immediate risk. Before the thinking was, no new magma, no big eruption. But this new research suggests that the volcano might not need a huge injection of fresh magma from deep within the earth to cause trouble. The accumulated stress in the crust could be enough to trigger a rupture on its own. Think of it this way. You have a can of soda that you've been shaking for a while. The classic idea is that you need to shake it more to make it explode. But what if the can itself has become weak and brittle from all the shaking? It might just burst open without any additional force, simply because the metal is fatigued. That's the new picture for Campi Flegre. The crust is fatigued. So what does this mean for the people living there? The study suggests that the rock on top of the magma chamber is being stretched to its limit. The fracturing could create new pathways for magma and hot gases to escape to the surface, potentially much more easily than we previously thought. The ground is essentially breaking open from the top down, rather than being forced open from the bottom up. This doesn't mean a super eruption is imminent. Let's be very clear about that. The scientists behind this study emphasize that this doesn't guarantee an eruption. However, it does change the nature of the hazard. We can no longer just look for signs of magma on the move. 
we now have to pay incredibly close attention to the structural integrity of the crust itself. The pattern of earthquakes and the way the ground is deforming become even more critical warning signs. This is a perfect example of how science works. We have a theory, we gather more data with better technology, and sometimes that data forces us to completely rethink our assumptions. It's not that the old theories were wrong, they were the best explanation we had with the data available at the time. But now, with satellite technology that can detect millimeter scale changes in the Earth's surface from space, we can see a more detailed, more nuanced picture. This invisible network of faults and fractures activated by the long-term stress is the new key to understanding Campi Flegre's restlessness. It explains why we're seeing so many earthquakes even without clear evidence of large volumes of new magma rising from the depths. The system is essentially eating itself from the inside out, with the crust weakening under its own strain. The implications for monitoring are massive. Civil protection authorities in Italy are now working with this new understanding. They're not just looking for the big signals anymore. They're looking at the subtle clues that the crust is failing. It's a shift from watching the pot for signs it's about to boil over to checking the pot itself for cracks that might cause it to shatter. So, while the idea of a volcano breaking apart from the top down might sound terrifying, it's also a testament to our growing ability to understand these powerful natural forces. The more we learn, the better we can prepare, and the safer we can keep the people who live in the shadow of these geological wonders. This invisible world of stress and fractures revealed by satellites orbiting hundreds of miles above us is the next chapter in the ongoing story of Campi Flegre. Thank you so much for joining me on this deep dive into the science of one of the world's most dangerous volcanoes. It's a reminder that our planet is a dynamic and ever-changing place. If you found this as fascinating as I did, please hit that like button and consider subscribing for more stories from the cutting edge of science. Drop a comment below with your thoughts or any questions you have. Stay curious, and I'll see you in the next video.